Is Tesla's share value realistic? In late July 2023, the CEO of investment research firm New Constructs, David Trainer, published a claim that said Tesla should be worth something around $26 per share instead of its current price, which, as of mid-September of 2023, is currently around $270 per share. Other analysts completely disagree. On September 11th, Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley called Tesla its most undervalued stock, saying that the price should be closer to $400 per share with the potential to go much higher. Well, since there is disagreement, I wanted to take my own look at things. Now, I've been the CFO at the Gruber Companies for 10 years, and it's my job to do this kind of stuff. My look, however, is going to be a little bit non-traditional. I'm going to look at the revenue Tesla generates per square foot of space in their manufacturing facilities, and then we're going to compare that with some other EV and one of the big three automakers. First, some disclaimers. Of the stocks we're going to talk about today, I own stock in Tesla, Lucid, and Rivian. I do not own stock in Ford. And I'm not what you would call an investment expert. So please don't take this as investment advice. Now, before we get into this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That will help this video to reach more people. Today, we'll look at the three EV manufacturers, Lucid, Rivian, and Tesla, and one of the big three US manufacturers, Ford. I took time to look up the size of each company's manufacturing space. For Tesla, Lucid, and Rivian, information was readily available and consistent from multiple online sources. For Ford, I had to rely on numbers from FordAuthority.com. I found that the information was harder to find and a little bit more contradictory. Ford Authority seems to be one of the better sites and it had more complete data than the other information I was able to find. To get financial data, I pulled 2023 revenue and net earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, also known as EBITDA, from each company's investor presentation materials. I'm looking at all revenue company-wide for these companies. For example, for Tesla, this is going to mean looking at the mega pack batteries, the solar revenue, etc. For Ford, this would mean looking at all of Ford's international sales and large truck sales in addition to their automobiles. So first, let's review manufacturing space. Tesla has six locations and over 40 million square feet of manufacturing space. Ford leads the pack with at least 56 locations and 140 million square feet of manufacturing space. I did not count Ford's three locations in Russia since Ford left Russia at the start of the Ukraine war. Some information I came across indicated that Ford may have even more locations, but I couldn't corroborate it, so I didn't include it. Rivian has one location and 4 million square feet of manufacturing space. Lucid also has one location with 800,000 square feet of manufacturing space. Now, before going further, I also want to make sure you know the revenue from January 1st through June 30th for each of these companies. For Tesla, it was $48.2 billion. For Ford, it was $86.5 billion. For Rivian, it is $1.8 billion. And finally, for Lucid, it's $300 million. But wait, you might say, why are we even having this discussion? Ford has stock that's maybe one-tenth the price of Tesla, and their revenue is twice as much as Tesla. Well, just hang on a second, and let's get into the next thing, because it's revenue per square feet. And here is where things get interesting. Entrepreneurs generally know that the first step towards success in running a business is bringing in that revenue. So we're going to look at the amount of revenue per square foot of manufacturing space that each company generates. Here, Tesla leads the pack, and it's not even close. So far this year, Tesla has generated $1,200 per square foot of manufacturing space. Our internal combustion engine benchmark, Ford, is next at $618 per square foot, followed by Rivian at $446 per square foot, and Lucid at $375 per square foot. Now here are my two big takeaways. First, Tesla is producing two times the revenue of Ford when manufacturing space is factored in. And second, 
Revian and Lucid, two EV startup companies, are not as far off the pace as I expected them to be. Now let's look at the net profits and losses that these companies generate. We know that Tesla and Ford are profitable, while Rivian and Lucid as EV startups are still operating at a loss. So first, here's each company's total net profit and loss year to date, January 1st through June 30th of 2023. Tesla, $5.22 billion of profit. Ford, $5.6 billion of profit. Rivian, $947 million loss and Lucid, a $1.55 billion loss. What I'm really impressed by is Tesla's profit of $130 per square foot. That's three and a quarter times Ford's profit of $40 per square foot. Now, while Rivian and especially Lucid's losses look kind of scary, they're startups that are actively developing new models to sell. So I'm not going to dive into that data any further. Instead, let's turn the focus back onto Tesla and get into some simple what-if scenarios. What if Tesla had as much space as Ford and its revenue and profits per square foot remain constant? Well, that would mean you'd have $130 per square foot times 140 million square feet of manufacturing space and $18.2 billion in profits in the first six months of 2023. In the quarter two 2023 Investor Day presentation, Elon Musk at Tesla said that he believes the company is going to cut manufacturing by 50% within five years. If Tesla achieves this, what would that look like? It would look like $618 per square foot in net profit for Tesla. That's as much net profit per square foot as Ford has in revenue. The total net profit year to date in this case would be $24.8 billion. So let's go just one step further. What if Tesla had 50% less manufacturing costs and had the 140 million square feet of space that Ford has? Holy cow, $86.5 billion in profits in six months. That's an earnings per share rate of $27.28. Now, for those of you who are into investments, you'll know that Ford has $1.40 earnings per share for the first six months of this year. Earnings per share simply means take all the earnings that you have, divide it by the number of outstanding shares that you have. $27.28 is a phenomenal number. Now, this speculation might seem crazy, but is it really that far off? Well, you know, maybe not. Again, Tesla has announced plans to reduce costs, and by 2026, the company will have new or expanded facilities in Hayward, California, Fremont, California, Robstown, Texas, Shanghai, China, and Monterey, Mexico. And there's at least one more new facility that's going to be getting started within the next two years. Maybe it'll be India, maybe it'll be Spain, maybe it'll be Italy, maybe somewhere else, but that's going to come shortly afterwards. This doesn't even touch on the fact that Tesla is about to become a market leader in artificial intelligence. They're entering the lithium refining and battery production market. That's what the new facility in Texas is going to be. And their stationary power battery packs might bring in an additional $20 billion of revenue per year by 2030. Now, I'm not going to put out my own price target. Again, that's not my area of expertise. I certainly don't think Tesla's overvalued though. If anything, I think Adam Jones's estimates might be too low. So thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our financial breakdown. And if you want more of these types of videos, let us know in the comments below. I'm Mark Schaffner, see you next time.